Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial about exporting a stabilized batch with AVP. In some situations you want to stabilize your 360 degree footage and still patch your mounting point. This is typically to be used when the camera has been mounted to a helmet or a moving object. The best solution there is to add a PNG image that you created with Photoshop and put it on top of your sequence. But the problem here is that it will be a very static image without any lighting changes. Thankfully, in AVP 2.6 there is a way to counter that. So let's open an AVP project of some mountain biking and go through that workflow. We'll select the area we want to stabilize and compute the motions. I'll skip the computation as it takes quite some time. Once this is done, you would then be able to straighten the horizon and create states in it to smooth your footage so that the sphere never rotates. Here we will just put the rider in the middle to get a clearer understanding of what is happening. Now let's open Autopano Giga and add our PNG patch that we prepared in Photoshop to the footage. We basically just took a picture of the helmet and got rid of the background in Photoshop. We will then create a new layer that we will call patch so that it is not blended with everything else but stays on top of our sphere. Then adjust the patch with the move image tool to mask out the mounting point. So here the mounting point is the original helmet. It takes some adjustments, but once you are satisfied with the result, you can now save and see that the helmet is moving with the rest of the sphere staying locked to the original helmet's position. Now let's go back into Autopano Giga and add another image to the stitch. This is a blank PNG file. It's just transparency. We just want to have that transparency here so that nothing shows up in our video later. And we are going to keep that PNG file into the main layer. Now let's unselect the patch layer, save and go back to AVP. This will be our original backplate. We can now prepare that plate with our favorite rendering options. So let's select Cineform 422, give it a proper name and dimensions, then click on apply and save as a new Kava file with a unique name. Now we can go back into Autopano Giga, bring our patch layer up again and turn off our main layer. It is crucial here to then turn back on the blank PNG file as without this the patch would not show up in AVP. We can now save and go back to AVP. You see that we now have just our patch but we still benefit from the stabilization. Let's now prepare the render. Since we need the alpha channel, you can choose here to render in Cineform 4444 or in ProRes 4444. Give your export a unique name and save your Kava file under another unique name. You can now select the two Kava files and drag them into the batch renderer. Then just start rendering your two files. Let's get rid of those windows and get straight to the result. You see that we now have two files. Just our patch with stabilization and transparency and the original stitch without the patch. Now we can bring them into a compositing software like After Effects and apply different effects to it to add even more realism to our patch by playing with lighting effects or coloring that will only affect the JPEG patch so that it matches light movements of the real footage. So that's it for today, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe if you want to catch up the next tutorials as soon as they come up. And if you haven't already, I recommend checking out our full workflow playlist. This is a full video series that will show you the in and outs of working with the GoPro Omni 
and color software going really deep into different use cases that you might end up having to work with when uh, using the color software. See you.